And that is where we begin this hour with the latest on those seven humanitarian aid workers killed by the Israeli military in Gaza. Volunteers with the group World Central Kitchen had just delivered more than 100 tons of food in Gaza when their convoy was attacked. The aid group has since paused its operations in the region and is now calling for an independent investigation into this incident. One of those killed was a dual American and Canadian citizen, Jacob Flickinger. His dad is American, his mom is Canadian. The 33-year-old father had been volunteering in Gaza since March. His parents, Sylvie Lebrecht and John Flickinger, join us now from Quebec. Thank you very much, parents. I'm, I don't even have the words to begin to say how sorry we are that this has happened to you. No pain will ease those words, but instead of focusing on the circumstances of your son's death at this time, I wanna focus on his life for just a second. We just learned about him 48 hours ago. You all, of course, have known him mm -hmm. his whole life. What can you mm -hmm. tell us about him? Mom, Sylvie, you, you please go first. Well, I would just say that Jacob was a, a very good, exception, exceptional human being. Um, he was very much into his work, his passion. He's done 11 years in military here in Canada with the uh, Canadian forces. And uh, he was so much into it. And uh, even after leaving the army, he kept on doing special mission here and there which meant a lot to him. And, you know, we'll never be able to, to stop his passion. That's where his heart was. And yeah. he, give, he gave it all, all the way, all the way till the end. He did give it all. John, you know, friends who worked with him said that Jacob was not scared or apprehensive. He just wanted to help. What did he tell you all about where he was going and what he was going to be doing? Hi, good morning, Gail. Um, good morning. First, let me say that our hearts go out to the families of the other aid workers for the World Central Kitchen that were killed mm -hmm. in the attack, and all the aid workers in Gaza. There have been close to 200 people trying to help uh, the women and children and innocent victims of this conflict. So our hearts go out to all the families who've lost loved ones. Mm -hmm. um, ours too. Jacob said uh, he was um, he served with the World Central Kitchen in Mexico after the devastating hurricane there uh, in the fall. He loves the organization. He wanted to do more work with them. Um, uh, it combined his you know passion for service, which he's shown throughout his life, uh, and his skills that he's developed in, as uh, in serving in the military. Mm -hmm. um, he was hesitant to go. He's a, uh, a new father. He has a beautiful 18-month-old son, um, a, a beautiful young wife he was very devoted to. Um, but he felt the need, and he, of course, needs to support his family. Uh, they yes, moved what, recently to Costa Rica. What have Sorry, you all ahead. been told? What have you all been told about the circumstances of his death? Because it seems the more we hear, the worse it sounds. What have you all been told? We haven't been told anything by the United States government or the Canadian government. Um, all, all we know is what we've um, read and seen um, on TV. on the media. Uh, we know uh, that he was uh, that the convoy that was attacked by the IDF was in a deconflicted zone. We know that they were cleared. There's, Israel has very strict restrictions on any movement through that zone. They control mm -hmm. that area. Um, we know that they were aware, the entire world was aware, that this food shipment was coming in. It's been international news for days. Mm -hmm. um, they were aware that the food was picked up at the ship um, on the coast of Gaza. It was delivered to a warehouse along an approved humanitarian route, approved by Israel. Um, soon after they dropped the food off, we know that uh, they were targeted. Um, the convoy was clearly marked. The vehicles were clearly marked. Um, there wasn't, it wasn't, uh, you know, the facts on the ground seemed to indicate that it wasn't a, quote, tragic accident. Yeah, Israeli um, officials, though, would say it wasn't targeted, that it was a terrible mistake. I think everybody's still trying to sort it out. Jose Andres yes, is also yeah, making I, clear I, I he agree. believes it was, it was targeted a, as well. Yeah. Yeah. 
So if it was a terrible mistake, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. And I don't have a horse in this mm -hmm. race in terms of the conflict. But um, then the Israeli military is extremely incompetent. Mm -hmm. um, and the leaders that are running this campaign are incompetent because this is not the first aid convoy or group that has been accidentally killed. killed. There have been over 200 aid workers killed delivering food to starving to a starving population. Uh, did so you all say you haven't own, heard from... People can draw their own conclusions from that. Yes, you, you all have not heard from the American government at this time? I'm surprised to hear that. Someone from the embassy in Jerusalem called um, the day that Jacob was killed. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard from anyone since. You know, everybody keeps saying if Hamas would just release the hostages, this would all be over. What do you say about that to the Hamas leadership that is still holding the hostages, that, you know, people can go back and forth and disagree about who's responsible here, but the bottom line is mm -hmm. all these innocent people are in harm's way. What do you say to that? Yeah. Sylvie? Well, the truth is, that it's, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I just think that all these hostages should be free. I mean, yes. they have no right to be there, and they're humans just like you and I, and they have the right to get their life back. I mean, you know, if Israel uh, is playing kind of a chess game, it's their own chess game, but I mean, uh, it's affecting so many thousands of people around so far. It's a, it's a huge mess, and every day is a day that should that shouldn't be around this way. You know, I think I, I agree I'm with just you, hoping. Sylvia. I just agree. I just hope that someday we'll realize how much destruction this is all, you know, bringing. And I mean, uh, it's not only the loss of our son; it's the loss of hundreds, if not thousands of people that are already gone. And it's a major disaster. So I think that people need to wake up and uh, something's got to be done. Precisely what? I'm not sure. We'll have to, to see. But I mean, yes. it's a major disaster. That's for sure. It is. It's a major disaster and it's heartbreaking. I thank you both for joining us because I know you're still processing and you're still reeling Neil, as we all are if trying I may, to process this news. You know, our yeah, our yes, focus John. now is on supporting our son, honoring yes. his memory, and also supporting his young wife and child. So we've established a GoFundMe page mm -hmm. in his name. Um, and if we will put it are up. so moved. Yes. If people are so moved, they can contribute. And I promise we will put it up on our website so people will, will have a chance to click on and learn more about him. Thank you so much for telling us about him. Thank you very much. Life. Have a Thank good you. day. No, you too, guys. You too. Thank you.